All right, guys, it's me, Chris Hunley, again at ghbase.com. And today we have a wonderful female guest in the house. Yes, yeah, she goes by the name Effie Keys, and like she's a girl of the moment, video call. Yeah, we're going to talk to her and um, find some few things from her. So stick and watch. Alright, um, welcome to our studios, um, FA Keys. Uh, I must say, that, like, you know, the first time I encountered you, I knew you to be uh, a producer and a presenter. So, and then suddenly you started doing music. What really happened? Okay, uh, I, I went into media because of music, because I was hoping to, first of all, get to understand how the media works and make some connections so that when I started music, it was going to be easy. So, yeah, I do have, I did have the passion for music even when you met me, but then I was paving the way of like doing the right things to see before I start music. That's great to know. Um, you know, if it is like gradually, your name is becoming like a household name. I think for this week alone, we've seen like, you know, about several stories coming from you. People would want to know, like, who is Ife Keys? Like, um, what school, what secondary school did she go? You know, like when people are like, oh, she went to my school, oh, you know. So like, I want to know, what secondary school did you go to? And then uh, what course did you do while you were in secondary school? And then after secondary school, did you uh, continue to have any, uh, you know, tertiary education? Okay, so I'm in Ananum. I'm, I'm an official Ananum Ghana call. I went to Ghana National College in Cape Coast. So, yes, my Ananum people. What's up? I'm, I'm very proud. I always wanted to school in uh, Cape Coast. So, when I got admission to Ghana call, I was very excited. And I'm proud that I went through the school and the school went through me. <laughs> so, uh, I did general arts. Um, yeah, you do economics, uh, social sciences, and all that. So, and then from there, I continued. I went to Kenya USD. So I'm also an, an alumni, alumni of um, Kenya USD. Yeah, I'm a proud technocrat. And I did sociology and economics there as well, too. So. Well, well, you're educated, you know, like people usually do not want their kids to go into music because they feel like uh, music is just for school dropouts. But looking at you know all the schools you've been in KNUST. Um it's also it's also it's also a good thing. I mean it's going to serve like a moral booster like hey, hey you can still go to your school and then um, do music. Okay moving from there um uh you've been doing music for say how many years now? Um let me say by July then it will be two years. Surely two years. Yes and uh you I know you have like I know of two of two of your songs if the new one adds then it makes um three so talk of this song the first song that i heard juju like it was the moment you sent me the video i was like wow this song has to blow and i think it received um that you know press good reception from the public i want to know juju like is it a true life story or it was just something that came up in mind Juju, Juju, Juju was uh, inspired by a true life story. Actually, when I was in Kenya, I fell in love with a guy. And um, uh, it, it was the kind of love that was baffling me because I didn't know how or what was so attractive about the guy. I, he wasn't the specs, you know, you know, every girl has like the kind of, he wasn't the kind of guy like, you know, I would say, oh, I want to catch you. Did he have six packs? <laughs> In your sex pack. And then there's so for me because, you know, I also don't have my sex packs. So he wasn't like any handsome, rich guy. You could say that something was attracting you. But then all of a sudden, I was just in love with this guy. And it's it's got to me so much that at a point in time, I actually filled a paper because of him. I couldn't. Yeah, yeah. He, he broke my heart small. And then I was in, my head and my heart was in chaos <laughs> so uh, what level were you in then i was in level 200 oh okay okay i understand <laughs> so i filled my paper and my, my dad thought maybe something happened but because the year before that is a semester before i had an a in that paper the next semester i had an f <laughs> so there was something ob obviously went wrong and i blamed it on other staffs and because i was also into politics i was like oh, i was too busy but then it was actually the heartbreak i couldn't write it so it's 
when at a point in time I fell out of love with the guy and strangely enough I couldn't find out why I was in love with him in the first place so I was like maybe this guy did me but and I didn't know <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's happened you know um, I think we all have that experience in secondary school also had like you know an instant like that and at some point I was like ah, will I even ever be able to now now if you show me the girls which I'll be like ah, forget you know so I understand that feeling back then so, yeah, so um moving on from Juju and the music video like it was very very creative and I, I know that at the time that it was shot you were under the xylophone club so who shot the video was it from your own pocket or it was sponsored by xylophone club back then was sponsored by telephone club and it was shot by Abbas and all the guys were working on the um, video like uh, place it, it, it was it was very intense like you said the concepts came from myself and my former manager we put it together and then we took it to production and then they approved it and you know some fans were giving out to me we, we shot, went to shoot the video at uh, uh, what's the name again Oh, I've forgotten. It's, it's yeah, around, around, uh, no, 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 it's in Accra. It's in Accra, it's on Medina Road. I've forgotten the name right now, sorry. And then uh, some part of um, the beach on your way to Boom. Yeah. yeah. Um, I also know that at the time that you were at Xylophone, your late manager, really Roy, like, you know, um, he was helping you a lot. And now that he's no more, what is it like now and when, you know, really Roy was alive then for you? When he was alive, I felt protected. You know, like, I, I feel like he is always there. So no matter what, what I hate, he, he can make it a way through for me you know like I had I felt like I had a, a backbone somebody I could rely on now I don't feel that way now if I have any issue or something is going on I don't I don't feel like there's anybody I can count on and that's very lonely that's very lonely like you always everybody should always have somebody they can fall on to yeah so yeah so um I don't know now that you know men's good is going through crisis and all of that is the xylophone arts club is it still functional and are you, are you still under them or you've moved to another label or you're an independent artist now? Okay, as of now, I can't say it's functional because I, I don't see any uh, activities ongoing. So let me say maybe f for now, so they have their issues, so it's, it's not working or it's not functional. Uh, for me, uh, all I can say is right now I'm independent. I'm working by myself and um, yeah. Um, you know, um, with most artists sometimes we tend to wonder you know when they release a song and it's out there did they really make money i know juju was a hit like you know i had it being played in clubs and all that i want to know i'm curious uh did you really make like when did you keep like wow like you know you call you go on the stream you're like hey the keys and or maybe like you made some money you got some shows did you really benefit from juju absolutely absolutely i i benefited a lot from juju i i still get shows and then i used to get shows you know unfortunately we live in uh, ghana where our music uh, industry is not really really that uh, like there so you don't get money from airplays like the way uh, like in abroad they get royalties so here the most money you get is from people inviting you to play shows so your best shot is to get a popular song and then you go for shows which which is really wrong because it shouldn't be that way people you should get money from the music itself you should be able to sell i, I think I'm, I'm hoping that we'll get to the point where even though the, um, now we are in a technological age and people most songs are downloading but we can still have fiscal sales if if we're able to structure our industry well so um I got a lot of shows and I still get shows and uh, Juju really did open doors for me, honestly. Okay, so like, okay, if we keep got a lot of shows, uh, how much was she charging for a show? Or how much does she charge now? Maybe, uh, maybe you know, somebody will watch and like, oh, this yeah. guy, I like it, I'm having my wedding or something. I wanted to come and sing Juju because the love I feel for my wife, it's like she do me Juju. Yeah, so how much does it cost? Um... 
I can't give you exact details because every show is very different. First of all, is it a live show? Is it uh, gonna be instrumental like all my men that's playback? Um, how many hours are, am I playing? What kind of crowd? Is it an open? Is it outdoor? All these things are considered before I charge. So I can compare one show to the other show. Yes, that's that's the reason why I can give out a specific amount right now. All these factors play. All right, so somebody, you now you're saying you're an independent artist, right? So you are your own manager. So if I want to book you, I go through your social media or like there's an email that I, I send to. Yeah. Yeah, you go through my social media, you find my email and a number there as well. Um, I have one number which is for business and I'll add another one as well too so that if you can't reach this one, you can reach the other one. But my email is ifikeys1 at gmail.com and then the number, you can find it on my social media. Please go there. Thank you. All right, that's great. Um, if you keep moving on, um, you know, this week you've been trending a lot like, you know, Although I'm a blogger myself, like I, I've seen about four stories on you alone on my website. Like, ah, this girl, what is she doing? Like, you know, um, there's this, there's this whole kind of bad thing, and you, you seem to be like on the side of the sugar daddies. Like, yeah, you're defending them, and you've even apologized. I saw your interview with uh, some Flex on uh, Zalephone FM where you apologize. You're in your pajamas. I was hoping you'd come here with your pajamas too. <laughs> so tell us. Why are you defending the sugar daddies? Uh, first of all, privacy is privacy. Everybody have their privacy. If, so far as, uh, and, and that there's one thing we should know. Good, bad, it all depends on the person. Okay, so for you to, for the lady to have brought out something like that, which is very private, I think she did not do well. Whether it was intentional or unintentional, whatever, it wasn't, it was, she did not do well. So, um, I felt as a lady, I should apologize because what she did affected, she thought affected just the man. No, every man doesn't trust the lady, their lady. Because the moment you say something, oh, and you know, you, you put me out there, you know, it's not just video call, you know, like, you know, message, oh, baby, send me a picture. Do you, I, I, ha- I even have a story of um, my friend asking somebody who has trouble to send, like, video call. He said he, t- he sent me pictures of the place. <laughs> he says, you know, people are afraid because uh, I'm talking to this girl. She could be recording me. She could be- so it's, it's, in the me- it's in the minds of the men, and that's not good for us because it makes them too conscious. And we need you need your man to be free. So it's affected almost every kind of relationship that I, I, I know, at least even for the stronger ones, something tr- triggered their mind. So I felt as a lady... If I can use the song or if I can use my creativity to apologize and on behalf of uh, what she did and also to assure the man that video call us. <laughs> We're not going to do that to you. So see, we won't kandapa you. It means we won't do that to you. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Um, with all this you're saying now, I'm beginning to feel like you, know, you have a sugar daddy. I want to ask, do you have like a sugar daddy? And you know, like usually... People think that like sugar daddies always have to be like uh, somebody who is very old and all that. So tell me, do you have a sugar daddy yourself? Yes, I do have a sugar daddy. Wow, how old is he? I can't mention his age, but he's not super old. Okay, but he's my sugar daddy. Yeah, that I call. Oh, you know, when it comes to sugar daddies, right? There are levels. Uh-huh. There are some. They they, are, they they have the Indomie sugar daddies. What's that? Oh, oh that like you know what they can I give you is like. You can <laughs> Only Indomie. Indomie, yes. And then there are those like, you know, Omutia, like, who say yes, and we're like, baby, I'm bro, I have to fix my hair. Six hundred, we're like, oh, no problem. And, you know, he'll just send it. Your sugar daddy, do you really benefit from him or is it just like for the love? I love my sugar daddy. Uh-huh. It's not even sugar daddy, it's a sugar daddy. Zaddy, Zaddy. I love my sugar Zaddy. I love him and I don't call him for money for hair. I mean, my hair, what am I going to call for? <laughs> I mean, no, no, no. I, I, I think um, I'm not that kind of person who calls for tiny, tiny steps. I mean, business. Charlie, you need money for... Not to catch you, but um, 
does he support your music? Like, you know, financial, like, hey, uh, you want to do a music video, take this 5,000, go and, you know, add something, then do it. Does he support your music? I think uh, for for now, um, I'll say yes and no. Um, yes, because uh, for him, he wished that he's like fully financing it, which I think is great. But I also um, know because uh, we we don't have any kind of contract or anything. So it becomes like when he can give it to you. And for me, that's not business. It, it becomes like okay. you can't rely on that because he's giving it out of his heart. You know, so the, for me, those kind of things, I don't, I don't even like to, put a business so I want someone who is coming fully for an investment like business you know so that you can hold the person accountable they also know that it, they're expecting their money that is more I, I want my business that way I don't want it like your sugar daddy yeah that they become seasonal when you get it then you, you're out there when you don't get it you're not, no I don't want that kind of I want to be like consistent yeah sure, sure, sure. talking of sugar daddies um there's this rumor that you're pregnant. I was, I was, I was actually hoping that you come here with like a baby bump. Maybe just one month old or two months old. I don't know. Maybe, maybe your sugar daddy impregnated. Like oh, I need, I need you to have a baby girl for me or something. So, is if a kid's pregnant? <laughs> I, I saw this. I saw this was actually, and the picture that they put there was a picture from OK FM interview. I think apparently, I don't know how, but I look like I had a baby bump in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe that they had eaten too much banku and it was just, you know, it, it, it was like six balls. And I, I've not eaten six balls, but then I, the, the, the picture looked a bit that way. So I saw bloggers people sending me like, are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? I'm like, ah, okay. But anyway, at the end of the month, you find out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, let me ask you, talking of pregnancy, if along the line, you know, you get pregnant, yeah. Is it, are you going to keep it? Now, yes. Okay. That's good to know. Um, I want to come to your song, Video Call. Yeah. You like, I, when I saw the song, I was like, ah, this thing, this thing happened like, you know, just from two days ago and the girl has already released like a song. It takes a very creative person to be able to do that. And like, when you pay attention to the lyrics, you're like, hey, you know, did you, um, how long did it take you to actually come up with the words and the beats and all that? Like, tell us about it, the video call song. Okay. So I, I had the beat. I, I had the beat. Somebody sent me the beat and I had the beat. And I loved the beat. I really did love the beat. And um, before that, I've been talking to my friends and then we've been talking about this uh, video call Sugar Daddy Saga. And they're like, hey, if you have to apologize on our behalf, for, you know, I'm like, yeah, so Charlie, I will. So I've been thinking about that. Like, okay, I, I mean, I could put it in a song. I could put it in a song. So when I heard the beat, it really did get to me. And then I started putting the words together. So I started in the morning. By evening time, I had the song. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Um, so for guys, those of you who have not heard Video Call, we're playing in this song. It's a very, very nice song. It's all to the side chicks and all the girls who have sugar that Not just sugar that, but like, you know, yeah. you have like a boyfriend who is, you know, is very, very supportive you and all that. Side chick not just uh, sugar daddies who have side checks. You know, no, no more single guys. The regular guys have side checks. And by the way, you never know when you are the main chick or the side chick. I was having this discussion with my girls. You never know when you're the main chick or the side chick because whatever the guy is telling you, he could be telling the same thing to the another lady. Definitely. And so what makes you think you are the main chick? Definitely. I know, I know of a real story where a side chick was married and the main chick was kicked off. So you never know. You're like, you know... Um, talking about side chicks, yesterday or so, I think uh, Councillor Lutrot, he was on uh, TV Africa and he was, he was talking about side chicks and he was like, side chicks, uh, if you're a side chick, you must not have only one um, married man or something. Not just like a married man, you must not have like one partner. If you are doing it, you need to have like maybe three or four, you know, so that like if this one is not giving you what you want, you can get from B, you can get from C. What do you think? Do you side with Councillor Lutrot or you think otherwise? I think that as a, even a single person, you shouldn't have one uh, person in mind when it comes to marriage or whatever relationship you want. The truth is you can be disappointed in it. It's, it's a period of courtship. 
remember, you're date that's the word, you're dating. You're dating to find out what the person so if not for the fact that sometimes there is like sexual engagement, it would even be best for you to be seeing other people for you to know who is like right for you. Does it mean you're seeing other people aside your main guy, your I'm saying, I'm just saying, let me come, let me finish. <laughs> okay, okay. So in the process of dating, yeah. you should be seeing other people. Now when you select that person that is the person I want, then you start the courtship. Okay, you start the courtship with the person. Yeah, so you select. Maybe in your mind you're like, okay, um, I'm dating Kofi Kwame and uh, yes, uh, um, Derek. And I think now I like Derek, you know, he, he's like an ideal man. Yeah. You want to marry Derek. But Derek too is not really like you know ready to marry. So at that point, what do you do? When I say select, I mean both of you have come to an agreement. So I'm not saying you will yeah, you, you, you can marry the man. He alone to can marry unless there's an agreement, mutual one. So when you get to the mutual agreement and you realize this is the guy who is serious about you and you also like the person, then you go to the courtship place where you know that one I think you should focus on the the person. But in the process of dating, dear my sister, my brother, you are free. Date as many as you want. <laughs> hey, I don't want my girlfriend to watch this so that she she'll go and date as many as she wants. Oh, okay. See, <laughs> are you two? Are you are you sure you? It's just her. It's just uh, you know. Um, <laughs> it's just uh, you know. Maybe maybe at the start of the relationship, I wasn't like you know. But now, I'm certain. So like. So you've moved. Uh, you've, like yeah. I said, you made. Has she also made a decision? Yes, yeah, she's also okay, made that so now decision. You so now. probably next year, I'll definitely invite you to my wedding. You see? come and perform for us. Oh. I can't perform juju. <laughs> you see what I'm, I was talking about? Now you move from dating, you're caught in now. Definitely. That's different. Definitely. So I'm talking about those of us who are still dating. dating. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, so That's, great. That's great. That's <laughs> great. That's great. Um, are we going to see a music video for um, video call? Video call, um, I think today I should even be checking on their production. We're doing um, um, animation animation for it we we want to bring out the characters and make it funny a bit so yeah we, we're doing animation if it calls if after that people still want the video you know we'll give them video okay um yeah what's running up this interview like you know we want you to give like the the you know this one this tomorrow there's no beat just like maybe the first few lines of the sort of video call so that people can actually like hey this is what a girl is saying so they hear it, but like, you know, sometimes when there's this particular song, there's no beat and the person is just maybe singing it one way, like, eh, it makes you appreciate the song more. Yeah. So just give us a few, you know, just maybe the first three lines or something. Baby, get in the shower, I'll be with you. I'ma give you a hug and make you sleep. Let me approve your suit for that meeting. Ah, oh yeah, model for me. <laughs> damn, damn, guys. This is this is very very powerful. Like uh, I, I I don't know maybe Kandapa would have to use this song as his his ringtone. I'm begging I'm begging B and I please don't invite me. I'm just I'm just joking. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Miss Runana. Uh, prison there, yeah, yeah. In Pioneer, you know. Okay, so moving on to um, fan questions. You're giving hundred million dollars now, or to go back into the past and make a change. What would you choose? A hundred million dollars now, or going back into the past to change one mistake, or maybe change anything about your life? Hundred million dollars now. There, you don't want to go back. Maybe you want to go change that F you had in, in school. Everything that happened in my life in the past happened for the good of my life, of everything of my life. Okay, okay. That, that F did something for me. When I got F, my lecturer didn't understand. And this lecturer I was very afraid of. And because of because of the F, I became very close to this lecturer, who you know I was afraid of and scared of, and I realized he's very cool. So, yeah. All right. So, um, you need a hit song, right? You have Shatawale, you have Stoneboy, you have Sako here, and then you have Kusi Ata. You're like, choose one of these musicians. You need a hit song, like if you need a one powerful hit song, and like, 
you have to choose one of these musicians, these four, Sarkodie, Stone Boy, Shatawali, Chris Yata, who would you choose? This question there, it actually has to be the song. The song will call for the artist. You know, a song that Chris Yata will fit on, Shatawali might not, Stone Boy might not, you know that kind of thing. So, yeah, so it, it's, it's the song. It's a song that will determine because all these, all these are great people that when they're on your song, the obvi- it's obvious they have their fan base that you attract them. So it depends on the song. Yeah, let's move to the female. Since you don't want to choose the men, you have Ifia, you have Adina, and then you have Ishan. No, you think you guys are the same way. Like they are all very good, very good singers. Yeah. But okay, fine. Are you going to, are you going to are looking at featuring maybe any of the female musicians in the country? Okay, so this year, are there going to be any collaborations or just more singing? Not certain on who? No, the song, like I said, will determine. There's some songs, if you don't take it, you might put the wrong person on, even though they, they're good. So it's all a matter of technicalities and, you know, you have some musicians listen to the song and, yeah. Okay, um, if you kiss, before you go, um, you know, like i wouldn't want to describe you as an, an up and come because you move beyond that stage now you know yeah you, you are there you are there get it yeah yeah you are there it's left the, the other day the hair is already the other day for you to get to um and you have fans who will be watching this MTV interview and then listen to you I want you to drop some few words to your fans those who love you, those who follow your music and even not just those who like follow you but then also those who um, want to like somebody who watch this interview and like after that will decide hey i'm gonna be an if a keys fan do you have like a nation no it's a fan key fan, key fan. yeah and then we'll be a puma <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> if in Safwa. Yeah, so key, key fan, you know when somebody says you're a key fan, like, that means you're very like um Why if it keys like is is key that's a like who be keys and I said First of all I hold the keys. I mean I, I hold the keys to the keys to your bedroom or where? No, the keys to the heart of men. When I say heart of men, it's not just men, I mean heart of humans. I I know how to get to the heart of people. If you get to my heart. I would appreciate if you get into my heart. <laughs> Music for now because right now it's, it's occupied by some lady you've not you've not told me her name yet so <laughs> so I'll, I I I can I know how to get to a person's heart you know if I say I really want this guy I know what to do oh if oh I want to be this girl's friend I know what to do so um that's one reason secondly because of my love for piano keys yeah and I think um I was somebody I wasn't born into a music family so I lacked a lot of basic. Uh, understanding when it comes to music so when I started learning my keys I had a piano teacher uh, st- shout outs to you Stephen and he, he started teaching me all that so like I was learning gradually I was doing well I was like damn your keys are, qu- are that getting just like epic my epic key my epic <laughs> <laughs> okay I listen there was one question I was going to ask uh, in here this me but now that it's popped in my mind I would have to ask it I've seen you in the past. I've seen a post of you like throwing shade at Wendy Shay. I think that was the time that uh, she went to perform here. Like, hey, if your back no is smooth like ours, was it? What is it? What it went? Wendy Shay, or was it just a normal statement you were making? It was a normal statement I was making. That um, that's what I was saying. Everybody knows their flaws, right? So when you know yours, you know how to cover it up. You don't go showing out to the people, and then you come to cry that why are you doing this to me? Like you know, you cover it up. If you have a big tummy, you make sure you wear like five stomach training <laughs> or whatever you want to hide, or you know, hide it well, and then but don't. Yeah, yeah. Everybody have something to hide. Something about them they don't really like. Like. So it wasn't to her, it was just to every lady that um, make sure that if you know, say, go on kucha on now, be brush shirt trousers. <laughs> you know, just an example. Yo, if you know you have something on your hand you don't like, wear long sleeves. Don't, yeah, unless you are comfortable enough to show it and own it. So when people throw you, accept it because you know that you are, you are going to get positive and negative response. And, and aside that, this is media. Not everybody will like you. And even sometimes the camera gets you at your wrong side. 
you know i've seen pictures of me it's hilarious <laughs> is that me <laughs> You know, sometimes the camera gets you the wrong size. So and and somebody or even a fan want a picture with you when you are sweaty and all that, and they'll post it and tag you. If you kiss me, I'm only for fair fair. Only. One time I was going to gym, <laughs> and then ah, uh, the next day I went I went to Twitter and I saw me working. I'm like, who took this video? <laughs> this I can't wait. Like took me walking on the street, like you know something like that. So it's 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 um you should know that these things happen when it does. Just um don't just don't read the comments or the mind people. Yeah, that's that's advice I'll give to everybody in the media. The mind people. Yeah. Your final words to your fans. I just want to say I love you. I love you so much and I appreciate the time that you take to listen to my music, to send me messages, to video call me. <laughs> I get group video calls, can you imagine? Hey, you're, you're enjoying. Is it for men or boys? <laughs> Thank you, boys. <laughs> who, who, who have to see this uh, data? They'll be worrying you. They'll be worrying you, but then it's, it's fun. So I just want to say I appreciate it so much and I uh, keep on streaming my songs they are on every platform you can think of um from um you should you should check some t- these three sites uh audio mark soundcloud and uh, there is this one Ndundu. i don't know if i'm spelling i'm saying it well m-d-u-n-d-o they have amazing songs there and um, i have a uh, spotify as well too yeah you can go there and get my songs and also my personal website that is important to me because there, when you go, you are actually putting something in my coffers, you know. Every, you and you also find so much information on, on me as well. If it keys dot org, if it keys dot org. So, guys, uh, you've heard it, it's been exciting speaking to if it keys and uh, follow her music and most importantly, stream their music because you know, for the artists, they need you guys to stream so that they don't always have to rely on shows to you oh, know Charlie, get, you get the money. Yeah. And stop the, that free free download. We'll be free crowd though. It's just Apple Music is I think about um five four point nine nine dollars, which is no more than thirty CDs a month. You know, you could do it for the for the culture. Let's stream more music. All right, um signing out. My name is Chris Handler of ghbase.com. If you're looking for all the latest, fresh entertainment news in Ghana, you gotta log on to ghbase.com. Yeah.